Hotep Cancer, welcome to your what's going on behind closed doors love reading for the month of December 2020. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and Cancer. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, signs. Now, if it resonates with you, then go ahead, hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading more of your messages, Cancer. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't even worry about any of that because I'm just going to get you next time, baby. Okay? Absolutely. 100. Now, Cancer, if you like this reading and you want to donate to my channel, please do. Hit on that link in the description box below and follow it over to the Cash App. And I appreciate you, love. Now, Cancer, like I said, this is a what's going on behind closed doors. So I got you out the divine doors, okay? And shuffled about 100 times for you, and this card came out. Cancer, this is your door. Now, when we take a good look at this door, we can see that a person is looking from a distant place so looking far out somewhere okay it's like the person who you're dealing with is at a distance from you all right they're not necessarily behind closed doors with you physically okay so when we look on the back of this thing we see it says a distant kiss and a prayer flag okay here is your message I wish of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain I need you near okay cancer so you're dealing with somebody who is at a distance from you okay this person needs you near this person uh, through whatever it is that is going on in their life they need you next to them and you also need them next to you now these two cards right here is dealing with the pros and the cons of this long distance relationship uh you know the good things and the bad things about it okay now the the pros will be brought by the uh, sacred language of light and the cons will be by the dark mirror all right now the first card is pros it's visualize visualize this is the good thing about this relationship it's like when you visualize it it's uh amazing what you feel okay it's amazing the feeling the energy of this person because see when we look at the card this is you cancer all right this is you in the middle in the lotus position but you have another person over you also in the lotus position you see that also in a lotus position so it's like this person's energy circles all around you and penetrate your chakras all the way up to the lotus okay so it's like you can feel this person behind closed doors you can feel them and it's like they're touching you physically because of how much they are centered around you how powerful the energy is okay and we know the lotus flower is the kitty it is the vagina all right so it's like you're feeling it here a lot you're feeling it there a lot and this person is also feeling it there a lot that's what happens when you visualize now the uh con the negative aspect of the relationship is anger and chains okay now this tells me that this person is in agony about you being separated from them okay you see the lion up here with his mouth roaring you know it's like a whole big old mess like emotional mess like you know it's like inside of their mind inside of their soul and their spirit is just a total and complete mess that they are chained to and they're angry about their relationship uh being so distant from each other now or you being so distant from them 
them being distant from you. So they are chained to that anger, okay? They're chained to that anger. And it's like, that's the negative thing about it because they don't know how to stop being angry about this whole relationship being so distant apart because when they feel you when they visualize you it's like man cancer like this person like oh my goodness it's like they just can't even imagine what it would be like if you were physically there now let's go ahead and talk about the zodiac sign you're dealing with who is this zodiac sign that you're dealing with behind closed doors or at a distance to you that you want and need and yearn to be behind closed doors with, okay? You need this person near. All right, let me get you one more shuffle, Cancer. You need this person. This person needs you. All right, so I'm thinking you two may be mirroring each other. And I say that because when I look at this place, I see there are two different two distant places all right there's a mountain right here then up here there was like a a, a palace or something so <clears throat> both of y'all are at a distance visualizing each other so let's see what the zodiac sign is what zodiac sign is cancer dealing with that uh is at a distance with them and they want to be behind closed doors with this person all right <clears throat> What zodiac sign is Cancer dealing with? Okay. Uranus. Uranus. So this person who you're dealing with is uh, very pro productive. Okay. They're very progressive. They, somebody who think outside the box. He's like, this person, as a matter of fact, the reason why you're feeling that way about this person is because you're dealing with somebody who is elevated. You're dealing with somebody who has, uh, you know, expanded their energy. They expanded their, their mind. They expanded everything about them, okay? This is an Aquarius. This person may be may feel detached from you sometimes. They may feel like they're a bit rebellious. And if you talk to this person, it's like, you know... Sometimes it's difficult to get your point across because you're dealing with somebody so rebellious. But uh, Aquarius is elevating right now, okay? Aquarius is elevating back to the stars because uh, they have had their heart broken, all right? They have had their heart broken. Now, here's a Gemini. Maybe dealing with a Gemini too, Cancer, all right? <clears throat> now, this person, they have two sides to them. This one side is chained to the anger of being away from you. This other side is being very nurturing and affectionate and loving and fun towards you, okay? So it's like there are twins here. There is more than one person that is in, that's in this person, okay? They have different traits, different personalities, okay? That are sometimes in conflict with each other. Now, what other sign? Is cancer dealing with that they're at a distance with Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith? Alright. <clears throat> Wake up, family. What other sign is cancer dealing with? I thought the only sign you're dealing with is it just is it just an aqua and Gemini? <laughs> Come on, cancer. What other sign you got? Oh, snap. A cancer? Are you dealing with another cancer? Cancer also is standing in for Scorpio and Pisces as well. But this person is a hard shell to crack. Okay? It's a hard shell to crack. This person, they're very emotional on the inside. So, yeah. You two are mirroring each other. So, when we got these cards right here. You know, one of you are very passionate. The other one is very emotional. But you both are very passionate and very emotional, actually. And it's like you are mirroring each other. All right? You're like twins that are mirroring each other. <laughs> and it's like, you know, uh, you neither one of you are really expressing how you feel about this whole separation, about the anger, the anger part. Y'all may be focused on the... Uh, the affection and the energy and whatnot. Now, what we got here? That just came out like that. I'm going to get you one more. Let me get you one more. Cancer. Capricorn. 
Capricorn. You're also dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody who is very cardinal. Somebody who is very like a workhorse. They're very much into their craft. All right. They are somebody who is always into that. And maybe you want them to be more into you. I mean, it's already, you're already separated. You know what I'm saying? You want this person to stop working so hard and be more into you. And, you know, so that y'all can be in tune with each other. Okay? Now, Cancer, I have the uh, new deck called the Decameron Tarot. You crack it open with your baby. Okay? There's another card in here. I'm trying to get out. It's being stubborn. Okay, I got it. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> now, I got to give you fair warning about these cards here. You know, these cards are very highly sexual in nature, but also very entertaining. I really like using them, okay? I really like using these cards. All right. <clears throat> so, I'm going to call upon my ancestors, call upon my higher self. Call upon the universe and Panathotu, the guardians, to get an accurate message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Because I want to know, and I know you also want to know, what's going to happen when you get behind closed doors with this person? Okay? What is it going to be like with y'all behind closed doors? Because the energy is real. The energy does not lie. Okay, it doesn't last. So, this person's energy makes you feel like you on top of the damn universe. And it's like, uh, you know, you want to see what's going to happen when y'all come together physically. Is that energy flow still going to be there? Let me get you one more shuffle, baby. All right. Cut the deck. See, what... It's going to be the outcome when y'all do get behind closed doors. What messages do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? All right. <laughs> Got the uh, Four of Chalices. Four of Chalices look like uh, somebody is going to be a bit nervous. All right. When they first get there, they're going to be looking in the door like in the front door to come in or in the bedroom door okay they're gonna be outside in the hallway looking in the bedroom door at the other person or if it's okay to come in that bedroom because uh this person is like kind of shy they're kind of timid there could be this cancer that you're dealing with all right all right let's see what other messages we have for cancer okay hmm Okay, interesting. We got the Seven of uh, Wands here, Cancer. The Seven of Wands is telling me that this person may be on the outside of the door peeking in to see when the other person is asleep, okay? To see when the other person is asleep when y'all first come together. And it's like, all right, uh, when this person is asleep, they creep all in the room while you're laying in the bed and seven of wands you. This is seven of wands. Yeah, seven of wands you. You know, and while you're asleep, they're doing all kind of nasty things down there in between your legs, Cancer. Okay? They give you all kind of oral sex in your sleep. And when you wake up, they, uh, or, <laughs> or... You're moaning in your sleep, okay? You're moaning in your sleep and you're kind of moaning loudly. So this person gets up and covers your mouth and tells you to shh, you know? Because you're just, you're just going crazy while you're in your sleep. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Cancer. What other messages do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Yes, you're dealing with somebody who's going to be sneaky at first. When you get behind closed doors with them, they're going to be sneaky at first. But... The magician is here. The reason why you screaming and hollering in the bed or moaning like that and they got to put their hand over your mouth is because their tongue is absolutely magical. Okay? That when they put their hands on you, it's like there is healing properties in the hands because this person's energy is off the charts. So when you are near them, 
It's going to be like you're you're nervous to be near this person, Cancer, and you let this person go to sleep, and then, uh, or you go to sleep, and then this person comes in at you because you're so nervous. They let you go ahead and lay down and go to sleep, but then. While you sleep, they go down on you. Be feeling all over your body and everything. Rubbing all over your butt. You know, your body just comes to life with this person's hands. Because this person is magical. You may be dealing with a, a magician. Somebody who is just magic. Okay, Cancer? And you're like real nervous around this person. Alright, so here we got the... Uh, the uh, ace, the, no, the knight of uh, chalices, sorry, guys, it is the knight of wands, and the four of uh, swords, all right? The lighting in here is not that good right over here, but okay. Yeah, so, when you come together with this person, there are going to be people who are broken hearted, all right? People who... Uh, are going to be upset watching y'all together. Like watching y'all through some type of uh, contraction. Like maybe people online are, is going to see y'all. Maybe people like neighbors or something around is going to see y'all together. Neighbors who heard you moaning in there and uh, wanted this person for themselves. But you you the one snatched them up with the Ace of Wands here. You snatched this person up. And now you're in there with this wand being all sensual and all passionate with it, okay? So people are going to be, they're going to be uh, jealous. They're going to be hurt. They're going to be angry and brokenhearted and sad about you two being together. But you're not going to care about that because once this person has you with them, they're going to be removing all your clothes, Cancer. After you're, you know, after y'all just have y'all one moment where they have to sneak up on you and, and be rubbing all over your body, all over your butt and going down on you and everything and just going ahead and sucking all over your breast, okay? I mean, they got their daggone mouth on it like they're trying to get some milk out of that, okay? They want uh some milk out of that with the four daggone pentacles, all right? Now, yeah. As you see, this person is like, you know, sort of kind of standoffish. She don't have her hands on his uh, head, like pulling him close to her. So it's like you're just going to be real nervous, Cancer. You're going to be real nervous when you're with them. And people are going to be real heartbroken, but they don't care. <laughs> and you don't care. Because, like I said, the night of uh, chalices is that this person has taken you with them. You're with them now. And they are pouring this intimacy on you, this emotion on you. And they just, like I said, just got your clothes off. You went to bed. Maybe you went to bed with clothes on. And then they went ahead and removing your clothes in the bed. Okay, you're in the bed right here with this person. All right? And then while they, you know... Got your clothes off, and the reason why you're moaning is because they're doing this. Yeah, guys, are they doing all kind of oral sex to you? Okay, now see, we had you not touching them here with their head all on the all on the nipples and everything, but now your hand is all on their head, pulling them into the wand, into the kitty. Okay, so it looks like you have uh, went ahead and and uh, or going to. To loosen up. <laughs> You're going to loosen up and let yourself go. Cancer. You're going to loosen up and let yourself go. Alright. Now here we go. What's this? This is the uh, Ten of Chalices. Okay. Okay. So after you want to let yourself go. This person going to be just laying back in the, in the bed right here. And you're going to... Stand up, look like. I don't know. It's like I don't know what this card is talking about. It got the guy with with his feet on the floor and his feet. I mean, him his body on the floor, but his legs and his feet up on the bed. And it's like, uh, maybe they did it so good they you fell out the deck on bed. That's what the heck happened, cancer. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry, Cancer. Uh, this person and gave you so much oral sex so good to you that you went backed up out of the bed and fell on the daggone floor. Okay? That's what happened. This person is going to be oral sexing you down. They're going to be sucking all over your breast, rubbing all over your butt while you're in the bed here. While you're in the bed here after they, you know, see that you're asleep because they don't want to disturb you because you're so nervous and you're so, uh, you know withdrawn because you feel the energy you're going to be feeling the energy cancer okay when we're feeling the energy of this person it's going to be like it's going to be too much for you to bear like let me go ahead and get you some love oracle cards <laughs> so you're not even going to let them touch you when they first get to you you're going to be all having your clothes all on <laughs> <laughs> love oracle messages we have okay magical mindset here we got the uh everything is divine know that you are the creator of your reality come manifest with the universe okay this person has a magical mindset this person is like you know a magician with with the magic wand here okay their wand is going to be magical all right now here's the grim reaper so yeah it's going to be over, like your whole timidness, your whole, you know, off, you know, like uh, you don't want to be touched or your whole shyness is going to be, it's going to be over once you are in tune with this magic wand, okay? <laughs> now here we got the boat here. Okay, you because you're going to be receiving what you need when that wand is in you, okay? Or, uh... <laughs> When you're in there with that wand. All right. Let me see, man. Okay, Cancer. Go ahead, baby. Here we got not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoid a conversation, call person, boundaries. Still angry. I don't know. It's like maybe I said not today. Uh, I don't know. Clarify. Keys on the ring. Many options. Okay, so yeah, send that other options, other options that you have, other options that this person have, they are going to be very angry, okay? They're going to be avoiding conversating with you. They're going to be avoiding conversating with your person. They're going to be very angry, very upset, and very jealous, okay? Because they wanted their key on the ring. They were vying for your person, Okay, they were vying for them. They were all competing for your person, Cancer. And now they all heartbroken watching y'all in the room or watching y'all online taking pictures and stuff like that or making videos of y'all kissing and whatnot <laughs> and y'all doing all kind of nasty things. Y'all better not be putting no nasty videos up there on, on Facebook, Twitter and all, all them things, Cancer. Anyway, <laughs> Cancer, yeah, so y'all, you're not going to care about these people. You may start off caring about what they feel or what they think, but then eventually you're going to be like, you don't give a damn about these people. I mean, what the heck they matter? These people don't matter. <laughs> it's all about you and this person coming together, being in love, you know, Doing your ten of chalices. This person I made you have so many dags on orgasms that you went and fell off the damn bed. That's all you care about, Cancer. Cancer, if this reading resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know and I will be uploading more messages for you. Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about that, baby. I'm going to get you next time, okay? So until next time, Cancer, peace, love, and light. Hold up.